Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode. This is our HR 100 Urgent Quest, The Crimson Glow. I've been really, really looking forward to this. I mean, there was a long build up between HR 50 and here right now. Uh, so, just reading through it, ancient texts speak of the Crimson Glow Valstrax as the scourge of the world. Well, now that it's returned, we won't let it destroy the peace that Kamara has fought so hard for. Okay. Let's accept that. <clears throat> wow. Just based on the on the descriptions of the monster, the, the way everybody's speaking about it, uh, Comet of Doom was mentioned. You know, all of these these crazy these crazy terms. Um, and and just the, the the look of the monster itself seems like this is going to be a bit difficult. I'm going to guess that it's fire. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say dragon will be better because he is an elder dragon, right? But there are some elder dragons that do different um, different uh, elements. But the, th the thing that I'm basing it off of, right, it says Crimson Glow Valstrax, right? So just from that, you would think, okay, probably fire. But then you think about the, the red lightning that Ibushi has and uh, some of the others have uh, when, they, when they're doing their dragon attacks. So maybe the Crimson Glow is referring to that. So he's like a really, he really leans into the dragon side of things, if that makes sense. So that's my thinking behind that. And we'll go with uh, Slugger as well. Let's use a ticket. We have so many and we can just cook some more food and get more. But that's my thought process behind the element. Um, there have been times where we've been correct about uh, um, assuming elements. Well, it's not really an assumption. It's more like an educated guess. There's t there have been times where we've been correct and there have been times where we've been just completely wrong. But uh, I'd rather uh, try it out so that if we are correct, it'll be even more of a hype moment. But let's see. Okay, uh, we're gonna go out with our poison charge blade. Uh, we haven't used it in a while. Kamara set, of course, because this is an, another important quest. We are the savior of Kamara. Better look the part. Here we go. This is the final introduction of the game. Oh my god. God damn it, it's fire. Oh damn, Star of Despair. Okay, so, wow. His wings look like jet engines or something. Okay, so he's <laughs> he's fire, so we were completely wrong about the whole dragon thing. Uh, I think it will still come in handy throughout the fight, though. Uh, because him being an elder dragon, it will, will show itself. But I was just hoping that, that we were correct. But okay, it's one of those things. At least now we know. It's always a, a gamble going into a lot of these... Uh, these big fights as to what to expect and stuff like that. I actually like that aspect a lot. The fact that you actually have to hunt the monster before you get any information like that. It's one of the things that just... It adds more to that first hunt, you know. Let's get all of this stuff. I'm guessing we're going to need a lot of it. Now. 
And we've been taking down a lot of these uh, apexes, the apex monsters in the emergency quests, and that has been really fun. This there's still a few to go. Uh, I think they'll, even though the the emergencies are um, all unlocked already. Like I just wanted to do them in the order that I guess they were intended. So even though we have them unlocked there, since they aren't uh, unlocked over in the hub, I wasn't really doing a close ones. Where am I? Zenoga is over here. I think we have two more apexes um, to get through. What the hell? Is that the sound he makes when he... God damn, he really is a comet. It's like a jet. That's what I, that's what I was getting at when, when he landed and we saw his wings for the first time. He looks... It looks like his wings give up like... Um, Like jet propeller kind of energy. Okay, so I think. I think that's good enough for now. We'll still run around and get some other stuff uh, as we go. There he is. He kind of looks like that rare endemic life thing that we found the one time, but he looks like a like a massive version of it. Okay, let's go. Oh. Nope. My god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I kind of knew that an attack was coming, I just... It was difficult to tell what kind of attack it would be. How did I actually charge there? I hit it too late. Oh, wait, that's where the, the dragon attack is going to come into play. Um, yeah. I can't remember what Dragon Blight does at the moment. Damn! Oh, come on. Some of these hitboxes are weird. Um, so I just need to be a bit more aware and keep my distance. I think I'm being a bit too aggressive for just opening up the fight. No, how dare you? Oh, there was a thing right here I could have healed my poison, but anyway. He's down there. I don't want to go this way. There's a glass toad over here. Might be helpful.
Oh, I can drop something. So, Zenoga, Mizutsune. Okay. Because I do have a puppet spider. Oh, shit. I need to be more careful of that. So there is lingering uh, dragon stuff. So far, what? Oh. So far, what he's displayed was not. <clears throat> doesn't seem to be fire. It seemed to be all dragon. So were we correct in our dragon assumption? God damn. God, he... Look at him on the map! Oh. What the hell? I am... <laughs> I'm still in shock about what just happened there. I saw him moving around the map and then all of a sudden... My god. I thought he actually moved to where um, Misitsune was. Like he relocated, like that was his way of relocating, but... Come on, one of you can go down. Nope. He's just leaving. He has a really weird moveset. This is a disaster. <laughs> Okay. Him leaving gives me a little bit of time. Oh damn it. He's so loud. <laughs> He's like an actual jet. Jesus. I need to be a lot more careful. He has some like like some wicked attacks. Okay, so he only does the second one, I think, when he's in rage. Are you joking? <laughs> Little bullfango. Let me just make sure I'm chopped off here. Or at least close to it.
Did we get his tail? Um. Oh, this is so cool. Let's see what this guy can do. So cool. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that was a mistake. It was supposed to hit the Zenoga, but it didn't work. Which is kind of stupid. But either way. At least we got to, to check out what he does. What is he... The length of that does not make <laughs> much sense, like... Oh, shit. Okay, he hasn't followed up with that before. Normally he'll follow up with one. The reason why I didn't want to do this charge is exactly what happened there. He uh, left the dragon bomb. Shit. See, the problem is that his attacks don't behave like regular attacks. Like they, they have a lot more range and they're a lot wider than they would seem. I thought I was going to get hit by that one. But like, wow, the way he does that is so cool. But like, I want to see him go down because it seemed like he just kind of disappeared. Let's get that. Thank you. 
still don't understand what that is, but I'm really afraid of what it's gonna do. Spin. That's good. Oh, I thought he was gonna attack. I don't know why I'm trying to counter so much. I think I'm just trying to learn his... Uh, like, like when the counter would work well for him. Wow. Just missed the guard point. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I don't know if, if I should try to, to move away or dodge or something. But that's when you choose to do that. Let's see. Oh, damn, holy shit. That is so awesome. <laughs> Gleaming shell. <laughs> Might as well get it again. Um. Does he really just not care? Even just trying to keep an eye on him, like like where he's coming from, is a lot. That was uh, that was supposed to be a death. Like, there's no reason. Oh shit! Yeah, he's enraged, so he has a double attack there. How does he know where I am though? <laughs> okay, so flashing him does not seem to work. He seems to be able to see through it. Let's 
guy is so awesome. Shit, I'm gonna get hit anyway, right? Yeah. Going down this way. Let's go. Nancy? Oh no, he's going like way down there. This is easily one of the coolest things I've ever I've ever fucking seen. Is a dragon that also doubles as a jet. Actually, he looks like he's up there where Rajang was. So let's go over here. Get this. I don't think we need to use the battle right now. About this, I keep on forgetting about the second one. God damn it! Oh shit! Really need to not counter that one because uh, it just means. Screaming again. Okay, this guy is, uh, <laughs> he's getting a bit uh, annoying now with his attacks. Because he's waiting for me. Uh, you see what I mean? He's waiting for me to go in and attack, and then he's using his attack. There we go. Yeah. He was really patient me there at the end. He knew what he was doing. Damn, easily one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Just the concept alone. And I love that um you know he's a he's a, a dragon, obviously. But he's modeled more after a kind of bird. Like if you look at his uh, head, he looks like a hawk or something. And even the way he scales are it kind of makes it looks like uh, makes it look like feathers. I really like that. And we're gonna have to really scratch our heads here when thinking about that one attack where he just goes up into the sky and then comes crashing down like an actual fucking comet. That's going to be a tough one. <laughs> it's going to be a really tough one to manage. I'm interested to see what... Uh, we can get a weapon from this guy. 
probably armor for sure. But I wonder if there's going to be a weapon as well. So far, all of the Elder Dragons have given us weapons. But that was an achievement. I don't know what it was for, though. It's not showing up. I'll check it out later. Fan of fading, fading crimson. It's awesome. Even the menacing crimson glow is no match for the savior of Kamara. Never been so delighted in all my time as a guild manager or as your doting guardian. You've accomplished so much, yet there's still more to do. Cool. Um, before we go and see if we've unlocked any of the other apexes or anything, let's have a look here. Damn. Um, okay, so Dragon Heart is what? Draconic energy fills you after losing a certain amount of health. Weapons lose all non-dragon effects. Your health is at 50% or less you contract Dragon Blight and all elemental resistances are set at 30. 50. 10% attack power, that's, that's kind of insane. Then it also maxes out weakness, exploit and resuscitate and gives some resentment. This is recoverable damage. Abnormal status. So the resuscitate and dragon heart will go hand in hand there. Interesting. Uh, red dragon orb seems to be the rare material. Cool. Um, will there be a weapon? Yes. Yo, what's up with the sharpness? That's kind of insane. Element file though, come on. Why are they only... Well, I guess this is an impact, but I mean, it's not much of an impact. Charge blade. This looks so awesome. Sharpness is so weird. So it's really good sharpness and then immediately really bad sharpness. Like... If it goes too low, it's just like, you need to sharpen. Hmm. It's actually kind of cool, like very specific in the way that it can possibly be applied. Uh, ooh, wait, hold on. We can upgrade these now. Just a gem. Well, we didn't really make this yet, but... That's awesome. We've been using this a lot, so... Damn, that's cool. So, um... It, it, what we were actually waiting for was the Valstrax components, the materials. To be able to upgrade because i was wondering about it so we need if we can get a tail here we can upgrade our and i really do like this camellia's charge blade it's actually one of my favorites um wait, hold on um yeah i need just a whole lot of different materials for this uh we will be hunting more of this guy at some point though but let's go Say hello to Camellias. Maybe we can get a tail. And there we go. Apex Diablos, Apex Zenoga. Dual Calamities. Nice. Monsters in Ink. Storm and Fire. Scary Cat.
Uh, since we need to hunt a camellias, maybe we should do this. I don't know how difficult this is going to be. Apparently, it's really difficult. Um, but let's do it because we do need to get a cam camellias down. Uh, da -da -da. Saga fighter medic. I think that's good. Let's go. Interestingly enough, um, Camellia's tail. His tail is kind of like a, a big umbrella fan kind of thing. So I wonder if you cut off the entire thing. If there's a if the if there's a part of it that's just a tip or something. Just pause this. I'll be back in a moment. Cool, we're back. So just had to step out there for a moment. But um, really looking forward to fighting Camellias again. Really fun fight. Okay, Zhang as well. I mean, of course. That guy's a menace, though. So I I half expect that he's going to join join our fight at some point. Weirdly enough, um, I can capture Rajang, like just looking over to the left. But of course, because you can't capture um, the Elder Dragons, you have to kill Camellias. But it's weird that you don't, they don't make it so that you have to kill both. They're very specific about like, no, this one. This one you can do either kill or capture. So he's like, yeah, there he is down there. Okay. That was a mistake. <laughs> that reminds me though that I do need to try it out over at the water. Oh yeah, you don't scream. I forgot about that. I need to remember that I need to cut this tail. That's what we are here for. <laughs> One of those times where you see it coming in, in slow motion. Run away, not a dragon. Yeah, 
It's so weird that um, I fought Magnum Allo so many times in this playthrough. Like a lot. So far, I mean, like a lot of the um, miscellaneous hunts that we do, we involve Magnum Allo in it, and we still can't make his charge play. Or upgrade it to the next level. Oh, damn. I thought he was gonna go up into the air and do his uh, his downward poison cloud. I hope we're doing this correctly, and it's not just like a certain part of the tip or something. Maybe charge the stab shield. Ow. Oh, come on. That should have been a guard point. Wasn't close enough, though. I don't know, I didn't think that... Okay, so that, that slap that he did... Um, it, um, it didn't knock me down. But it still took damage. And I only realized that too late. Because I thought that just because I wasn't knocked down... I uh, probably didn't take any damage there. Um, but then, after I already uh, started to do a follow-up attack... I realized that I already took damage, so it was too late. Dead. That's kind of stupid. There we go. Um, what was that 10 that I saw? I saw a little 10 show. Shit.
Oh, I thought he was gonna do the dash. Should not be getting overconfident like this. <laughs> it is an out of dragon after all. Ow! That's not even fair. I'm the one who needs to be doing damage, not you. Shit. It's weird, especially the way like she. I didn't press any buttons, so she should not have been waking up there. Um. Let's just use this. Cause I'm not gonna now fail and then. fail and have to redo all of it. So let's make sure to go and carve the tail. Because that's what we're really here for. This Camellias is just not having it today, <laughs> which is weird because, oh, maybe that's that's the reason. I'm just overconfident because Camellias in the past has not been the most difficult. No, get away from me. Are you gonna do your thing where you go up? Hmm. 
Are you really just gonna stand? Ah, oh, are you joking? That is so weird. He was just out of range of it. <clears throat> well, there is another one. So I might as well. <laughs> Spheres. Always good. So I have to kill this guy, Andra Jung, without fainting. Or this quest is over. Can you guys relax, please? Damn. There we go. I thought I was gonna miss it because of these little fuckers here. <laughs> That move is so hard to do. Okay, so that, that move is clearly a... If you don't wire bug out of that, you will get hit by that second attack. There's no there's nothing else you can do. Which is interesting. It's not something I would have expected. This one comes down and that goes outward. But Wow. This is a disaster. Finally. I feel like this one was harder than the one uh, that we fought completely solo. In the, uh, um, in the event quests. But he finally went down. God damn. We got the tail as well. Which is good. Now we have to defeat Rajang without fainting. Or we fail the entire quest, which is a bit worrying because Rajang is a bit of a menace.
Denny, ne Hüde. Sure, we can cut through here, end up on the other side somehow. Snow beetle. Oh, this dude is coming to us. Not directly, but above us is good enough for me. How to get up? Let's get this while we're here. Well, fangos are, are really worrying me here. Oh. I thought that was gonna... How is that fair? In what world is that? Never go with the absolute menace. I was not gonna be able, I was not gonna like wake up into that. Better to be safe. Yep. Come on, big boy. Leaving already, huh? God, what a fun monster to fight. Um, can I make it up here with you? Yes, I can. Surprising. <laughs> God damn.
<laughs> the super enraged dead. Shit! I thought I was safe to heal a little bit, just to get our health back up. Was not the case. That's one of the tougher um, moves to, to try to dodge. Because it comes out so quick, you know? Oh. See what I mean? It's so quick. <laughs> I didn't think that I was going to make that. So quick. Didn't want to do anything drastic just in case he decided to pull out something because he does have moves that he can just pull out on a whim. <laughs> so embarrassing. I blind him and then can't hit him. <laughs> I was still banking on the decoy, but... God damn it. Best could be safe.
shit, man. Ah, man. I don't think that would actually be able to hit me. Shit. Don't think he would be able to get me uh, from so close. To get a final hit in there. And Zhang always keeps you, um, always keeps you at the edge of your seat. He is low though. Wow, look at my sharpness. <laughs> Fighting this guy with like half damage. What am I doing? Enough. Oh, he's still like running around. And he's asleep. Where I'm at full charge. God damn it, bouncing. Oh damn. Dead. It's easily one of my favorite fights in this entire game. Everything just makes sense. Um, and every time he does something that actually gets you, it's usually, you know, something that... Uh, something that you could anticipate but he mixes it up just enough that it always feels different. But either way, how are these guys eating him? I'm just saying. But yeah, wow. 
Crimson Glow, Falstrax, as well as these two. What an awesome, awesome series of hearts. I really enjoyed those. I can't wait to, to see what the Crimson Glow, uh, Valtrax, uh, advanced quest is going to be like. But that's right, um, we can actually read it now. There's absolutely no more spoilers in the game. Rajang Tail. Really do need Rajang Tails as well. I don't believe Camellia has killed us twice. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> That was unexpected. Um, so last one, Crimson Calamity. Infernal Springs. I kept on saying Infernal Palace. The ancient tomes say it is an evil star, a peculiar comet that glows an ominous red. Each coming day, the crimson hue grows fiercer and soon threatens to sunder the very earth. Only you hold the power to bring down this evil from the sky. Exactly correct in what you guys were saying in the comments. That is such an awesome introduction to the monster. I'm actually surprised this wasn't the, the actual introduction instead of the, the one that we had in the hub as the urgent quest. Now, I wonder what the Infernal Springs are like. Is it like the Coral Palace? Because if it's like the Coral Palace and it works like as an arena, Fighting all three of them in an arena will be kind of weird. I guess we're going to find out at that point, but depending on, on what it's like, um, if it's if it's just like an arena quest, kind of, and I'm not even going to bother trying to do it solo or anything. I'm not, if I do end up doing it, I'll probably just go and do it in some random lobby or something. But, um, with that all down, um, I think the next one is Apex Diablo's Emergency. Then at that point, of course, it's uh, the Zenoga one, and then we can do the two advanced ones. And um, that's th basically um, everything that I that I really want to do. I know there's a uh, Blazing Soul of a Warrior that we might try to take down. Because Magnumalo is really fierce and... Uh, Maybe we can put, put to use everything that we've learned about the fight thus far. But um, I think we'll see after the Diablos and Zenoga emergencies. Uh, we might throw this one in there and then take down the two advanced ones. And that might be it for, for the base game. Um, of course, these I do want to do. So on a complete... Uh, So there's four more. I'm sure we'll be able to, to really take them down as we go because if we do the Apex Diablos, Zenoga, and maybe like one or two others, then I think it'll be done. Either way, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. This was an awesome, awesome, awesome episode. Awesome series of hunts. And I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Bye for now.